classes at the University of Johannesburg have been suspended and the library closed as students return from a week's break. A mass meeting was held earlier today. Those who are outside Kossad, they have taken a resolution. Let Atford's university trade unions expressing support for the students if their calls were not heard. While students downed books for a second week, they marched on the medical campus in Parktown, halting lectures. We were told that the academic program was still continuing here, uh, and we've been very clear to say that if the academic program will be close to one student, it will be close to all. Two staff vehicles were petrol bombed at the University of Pretoria following student protest on the Hatfield campus. The university strongly condemns this type of action, um, and we will investigate the matter. Students deny any involvement. In KwaZulu-Natal, two universities, victim of arsons. On the University of KwaZulu-Natal's Peter Maritzburg campus, a residence was set alight this morning. A student was arrested in possession of illegal liquids. UKZN says classes will continue on all its campuses. Nine vehicles, including three buses and a minibus taxi, were torched at the University of Zululand on the KwaZulu-Natal north coast. Last week, the university's storerooms were set alight. In the Eastern Cape, students at the Nelson Mandela Metropolitan University are divided. Some signed a petition to resume lectures, while others are adamant the shutdown must continue. Yes, there are those students who want to come to class, simply because in the main, they have the fees, and this issue does not affect them. At the Sol Plank University, 24 students were arrested. Fellow students marched to the police station, demanding they be released. A compromise was reached. In Impumalanga University, gates remained shut as students vented their frustrations. We don't want an increase of an 8%, 6%, but we want a decrease of an 8%. The University of the Free State says academic activity will resume tomorrow on all their campuses, but students vow to continue protesting until the demands are met. Hasina Gori, SABC News.